All right, so the next step is to make sure that we import our accounts receivable records into my idea project. So those of you that are using a portal will have to use the XML file. And that XML file was contained in the zip file. And as you will see, I downloaded all of that into uh, an idea folder. And then I extracted all of this. Then I just went ahead and move my accounts receivable XML, or in, in your case, you may have to move the accounts receivable 2015 and the customer file. Uh, and then I'm going to move it inside my idea documents within the idea project. And I'm going to locate the one that I'm working with. In this case, it's going to be the last name, first name, accounts receivable audit. Um, and then I will locate the source files folder and paste them in there. So yeah, I had them there before. I was working with it earlier, but I just wanted to make this video. All right, then I go back to caseware idea and I go to my home tab and I'm going to graph something and I import something from my desktop. And as such, I will import an XML file for those of you that are not using the access database because it was giving you an error. Uh, so you go and find the actual accounts receivable file, press next. And then that looks pretty, pretty good. Uh, and this is going to be an accounts receivable file. And that's basically it. Let me, let me overwrite this because I had already imported that, but it's okay. Um, so that's it. This is, this is the XML file that is imported. And that's all we need to do for this particular uh, requirement. All right, let me stop the video.